What's going on guys? It is your host Midnight Man with his assistant host, Mr. Bailey, of course. We're going out for a little walk right now, but anyways, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Elgato game capture with your iPhone or iPad device. But before I start this tutorial, there's a one thing that you're going to need to pick up, and that is a 30 pin digital AV adapter, which you can see on screen right now. And the average price for this this device is about 40 bucks but it's a well worth it if you want to do this with your Elgato game capture and your iPhone and iDevice and there's a possibility you may have to pick up a specific kind of 30 pin AV digital adapter if you have one of those newer generations of iPhone or iPads so that's about it guys I'm gonna head inside right now it is freezing cold out here and really snowy I just wanted to take my dog out for a walk and I decided why not do the intro here so let's get started here we go Alrighty, now that I'm back in the comfort of my own home, all the items you see on screen at this point are all the items that you will need for this to work. The item you see on the far left over here, right here is the HDMI cable. It came with the Elgato Game Capture itself. The thing in the middle is the Elgato Game Capture, this thing right up here on top. The thing to the right is the USB cord that you will plug into the Elgato, the small end, and then the big end will go into the computer. Now the thing that you see on the left here is a 30 pin digital AV adapter and this is what I said that you might need a special kind of uh, AV adapter for in case you have a newer generation of iPhones or iPad. So a small end will be here and you can plug that in to your iPad or iPhone. So that's what you need. For me I have the uh, iPad too so I'll, I'll just need the older kind of uh, 30 pin digital AV adapter. So these are 40 bucks like I said before. Pretty good. It's a decent buy. I mean I thought it was pricey at first but it's not too bad. Especially if you want to do this. And in the middle as you see I have my iPad but of course that this is all up to you, what you, whatever you have. Like you could have an iPhone or it could, be, it could possibly be anything you know. iPad or iPhone. So alright. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put this thing together. First, let's start off by taking the Elgato Game Capture and let's take the HDMI cord and we're going to plug that into the HDMI end slot. Just like so. Now, after that, we're going to take the USB cord that came with the Elgato Game Capture, if I can get over there. We're going to take that small end and we're just going to plug it in the USB slot over here. Just like so. Now, after that, Let's pick up that 30 pin digital AV adapter, take the HDMI part of the Elgato game capture that we put together, not the USB side, the HDMI side, and we're going to plug that right into the HDMI part on the AV adapter, just like so. So now that we all have all of that together, we can plug that into the iPad or iPhone that you may have, just like so. Alrighty, now that we're at this point, you're going to want to take the bigger end of the USB cord that you plugged into the Elgato Game Capture, and you're going to plug that right into the computer, into a USB port, just like so. Alright, next you're going to want to open the Elgato Game Capture software. If you don't have this software already downloaded, you can uh, click the links below. And I'm currently running on one point, version 1.4, so it... It works on this as of right now. If it doesn't work on yours, I will put other links in the description to where you can go download the previous versions of Elgato Game Capture. Who knows why the previous versions would be better than the newer versions, but there could be multi there could be many reasons why this can't work on a new version or so. But if it does, I will have links in the description below. But now, next you'll see that it will say no signal just because the iPad is off. But we're going to click on settings first here, and I'm going to tell you this right now. This will work for the iPad, iPhone, and also the other option. So you can use those three options. Each three will work for the iPhone or iPad, whatever you have. It will work. It, you'll get the same kind of response and deal. And you're going to want to have all your settings to HDMI, because that's what you're using. Standard HD 1080p. Make sure your settings are the best, because you want the best kind of videos. And you can also crop to iPhone, iPod Touch app size if you want, but that's okay. I usually just do all that stuff myself in pre-editing. So, I, I just don't really pay too much attention to that. But once you have all those settings the way you want them, just press OK. And as for example, I will choose Other for starters. And press OK. But you can also use the iPhone or iPad options as well up there. And I'll just press OK. It'll still say No Signal. But what you want to do now is go to your device. Just open it up. 
like so. And we'll just have to wait a second here because you know the lag time takes time for it to connect. And there we go. That actually didn't take long at all. It probably took maybe seven or eight seconds. But now what's on my screen is on the computer and I can record it by pressing the big red button down here on the right on the right hand side where my mouse is moving around like crazy yeah the big red button that'll record whatever you have on your iPhone or iPad and I think it this is pretty cool you have the video and you also have the sound with this so this is this is great you can show it to your friends you can even play Angry Birds have fun with that but before I go I want to show you guys a quick game of let's see I'm just gonna pick a random game here but uh, I'll go with Stunt Biker and it also turns on its side, which is also pretty fancy. It also, I don't care about whatever that is. And I'll just click new game here. Just, I'm just going to play a quick game for you to, so you can see, which I will show at the end of the video, that you can hear sound and see the video. So I will put that at the end, but I'm just going to play a quick game here. You can see me playing it. Oh my god, I almost died. I'm a master at stunt biker. I, I should be a, a professional motocross person. And maybe I won't break my neck. We'll we'll see. See, I can do some flips there. I don't know. I didn't want to make this too long. I'm I'm just beasting on this. I just can't die. Oh sweet, I finished. That was an easy one though. It was like what is it like two stars or something? I don't I don't. Oh who cares? But as you can see, I finished there, and I'm gonna go back and record that because I forgot to press the record button. But that's all right. And this happens because I just turned off my iPad. See, this is black, so eventually this is just going to say no signal. Right now it's just blacked out, but in a couple seconds it will say no signal. But that is pretty much the gist of it. I'm going to go back and record whatever I had here. And I will put that at the end of the video, which is happening right now. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I will answer it as soon as I can. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.